The construction ran really quickly. Even the staircase was ready. I'd thought up a curved staircase. According to the design, the producer made some atypical stairs. At the building site later on, we set the stairs within a few hours. Lay load-bearing dwarf walls on hydro insulation in a layer of lime cement. The stairs are reinforced aerated concrete blocks, both ends of which are laid in thin layer bricklaying mortar. Set the first air higher by the floor thickness. The stairs can be easily installed by two people. It is necessary to check the level of the stairs in both directions. Under the staircase, a useful space is created. The Etong system floor is easy to assemble using reinforced concrete beams on which aerated concrete filler blocks are laid. Space the beams according to the laying plans. Make sure that the minimal end bearing length of the beams on the wall is 150 millimeters. The beams require some laying support. When laying the starting course of filler blocks, adjust the spacing of the beams. The laying is very easy and quick. Reinforce the upper part of the plate with concrete mesh. Put the beam reinforcement in the gap between filler blocks and the beam blocks along the perimeter of the floor construction. Then, concrete the ribs, the beams and the floor plate. Do not remove the laying support until the concrete is thoroughly set. Attic walls are laid in a mortar bed in the same way as the walls on the ground floor. To make a beam, use U-profiles. Glue them together with thin bricklaying mortar. Use the reinforcement cage again. Before concreting, don't forget to put in insulation and roof truss anchors. One advantage of Itong is it's an excellent heat insulator, preventing the interior from overheating in the summer and cooling in the winter. If partitions are planned when the load bearing and outer walls are being put up, put in at every other joint a stainless steel connector to anchor the proposed partition to the masonry. Mark the position of the partition on the load-bearing wall. Spread lime cement mortar for the first tier of blocks on hydro insulation. Mortar the partition blocks on all surfaces. Mortar the connectors properly and brick over. Finally, fill the gaps between each partition and the floor with fixing foam. It began to dawn on me that building with Itong is a piece of cake. In a nutshell, Itong is a box of bricks for adults. With Itong you can make walls precisely, with minimal waste. Moreover, the material breathes and creates a healthily humid climate.
Partitions, especially in the attic, can be anchored in a slightly different way. Fix a connector into the masonry with an anchor for aerated concrete. Do not glue the partitions to the load-bearing walls. Fill the gap with fixing foam. Itong offers lintels over doors and partitions as well. Lintel installation is easy as they are simply laid in a thin layer mortar. The finishing touches are very quick and easy. With simple tools you can make the openings and grooves you need. Walling with Itong blocks is very efficient. The shape of the house is visible within 14 days. In short, Itong means experience. After all, Itong is the oldest building material trademark in the world. It has almost 80 years of tradition. Itong is produced in 21 countries worldwide. In the Czech Republic, Itong has a wide network of business partners. Every year, over 1 million cubic meters of Itong is produced in the Czech Republic, over half of which is used to construct houses. It amounts to 5,000 houses per year. So I can move in. Itong is a very pleasant material with good thermal properties. In order to get a feeling of comfort, it's possible to heat an Itong house at a lower temperature than other buildings. Not only can you save a lot, but it's also good for your health too. So, I have an Itong house. At the beginning, there was an image, then a design, and in the end, there's a house. I think we'll enjoy living here.